The third ode of Amr, son of Kalmiah, translated from the Arabic by Charles James Lyle. The third ode of Amr ibn Kamiah. If now I have no longer the strength to take a great journey, how many noble companions have I led forth in time past? I said to them, Go on your way. May my mother's sister be your sacrifice. Feel ye not the wind that burns with summer heat? Then did they set themselves to the pale-colored camels whose flesh had been trained down to hardness, their pasterns bound round with thongs that tied on their shoes. And I betook myself to a stout she-camel, strong as a stallion, bulky, that answered my pulling tight her foregirth with a roaring. And I journeyed with them the night through, to the rising of the sun, taking my way unerringly, although the darkness thereof was mixed with dust. And I brought them down to drink at a water just at the right time, where by reason of its remoteness and freedom from disturbance were gathered together a mixed multitude of sand grouse and doves. And the lightest hand of all in estimation that can never do thee any harm is the hand among other hands that is stretched into the vessel of food, whether the hand of a stranger or one of near kin, wrought to thee by a violent north wind that blows the dust along. Now am I that have passed the space of ninety years as though on a day I had stripped off the cheek straps of my bridle. I raise myself painfully on three supports by the help of my hands and a staff, and after that I stand upright. The daughters of time have shot at me from a place which I could not see, and how should he fare who is shot at while he cannot shoot in reply? Yea, if it were an arrow that shot me, I could have defended myself against it, but I am shot with that which is not a shaft. When men see me, they say, Art thou not he that but lately was bright with new arms and armor, no sluggish fighter? Yea, I perish, but of time I cannot kill even a knight, and that which I slay of him amounts not even to a thread for stringing beads upon. I am slain by looking forward to day and night, and looking onward to year after year.